Chapter 8 The Great Bear and the Little Bear Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful woman in Greece. Her name was Callisto. She had a son named Arcus. She was very happy looking after and playing with him. However, her happiness was not going to last. Many people were jealous of Callisto. They went to a goddess and said to her, Beautiful goddess, Callisto says she is more beautiful than you. The goddess was furious. She cursed Callisto and changed her into a bear. Callisto's hands and feet changed into paws with sharp claws. Her sweet voice became a savage growl. Her mouth was filled with terrible teeth and her delicate jaws became rough and powerful. The big black bear moved heavily towards her son Arcus. He screamed in terror. Then the beautiful wood fairies came and rushed away with Arcus. Callisto looked like a ferocious bear, but she was still gentle and loving. She was afraid of all bears and other wild animals. She ran away from hunters and their dogs too. At first, the bear would go to the hut where her son lived with the wood fairies. She wanted to look at her son as he slept in his little bed. After some days, the bear could not go near the hut. Men and dogs wanted to kill her. So she went far away and hid herself in a thick forest. Days, weeks, months came and went away. The seasons changed. The bear lived alone and lonely. One winter night, she dreamt of Arcus. She longed to see him again. She decided to go and see him in spring. Spring came. The bear made the long journey to see her son. One evening, the bear was wandering in a wood. Suddenly, she saw a handsome young hunter. He was going to shoot an arrow at a bird sitting on a branch. It was Arcus, her son. The arrow missed its mark. The bird flew away. Suddenly, Arcus felt that someone was watching him. He turned and saw a huge black bear staring at him. He was afraid the bear would kill him. So he put an arrow in his bow to kill it. The bear was silent. It could not move. Then something happened which united mother and son forever. Jupiter, the father of Arcus, looked down from his palace. He was shocked at what he saw. His son was going to kill his mother, Callisto. Jupiter swept down, snatched Callisto, the huge black bear and flung her into the night skies. Then he grabbed Arcus and flung him too into the darkness of the night sky. Arcus became a little bear next to his mother. The two bears changed into stars. Callisto is known as the great bear and Arcus is known as the little bear. If you look up at the night sky, you can see the shapes of the two bears outlined by stars.